Microscopy, Culture and Sensitivity. Microscopy is the technical field of using microscopes to view samples and objects that cannot be seen with the unaided eye. Culture is a test to find germs, such as bacteria or a fungus, that can cause an infection. Sensitivity test checks to see what kind of medicine, such as an antibiotic, will work best to treat the illness or infection. Procedure for microscopy, culture, and sensitivity, in a step-by-step -step format, includes, 1. Sample and sampling. 2. Direct microscopy where applicable. 3. Inoculation. 4. Incubation. 5. Macroscopy. 6. Gram staining. 7. Biochemical characterization. 8. Antibiotic sensitivity test. Step 1. Sample and sampling. Samples are collected carefully and aseptically. Microbiological sample includes but not limited to 1. Urine sample. 2. Stool sample. 3. Blood sample. 4. Sputum sample. 5. Celebrospinal fluid sample. 6. Semen sample. Step 2. Direct microscopy is the examination of stained or unstained wet mount preparations or fixed stained smears of clinical material which can often provide the etiological diagnosis of infection and the opportunity to initiate appropriate therapy before the results of cultures become available. Blood, full blood count, urine, hanging drop, wet mount microscopy, semen, sperm count, etc. Step 3. Inoculation is the introduction of microorganisms or samples into the medium suitable for growth. This medium can be agar, broth, egg, whole animal, cell lines, etc. Types of plate inoculation. 1. The spread plate method is a microbiological laboratory technique for isolating and counting the viable microorganisms present in a liquid sample by spreading a certain volume of the sample over an appropriate solidified culture media. This is mostly after serial dilution. 2. The pore plate method is a plating technique that is commonly used for obligate and anaerobic bacteria. This technique is used to isolate microbial colonies by serial dilution and then counting the colony forming units CFUs. 3. Streak plate method. In this technique, a loop full of culture is spread on an agar plate to get individual cells far apart enough from each other. The streaking method gradually dilutes the inoculum such that the bacterial cells can be counted as colony forming units CFUs. You can choose any method suitable for you. Step 4 Incubation. Microorganisms grow under favorable temperatures. Example, 1. Bacteria grow at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. 2. Fungi grow at 25 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. 3. Viruses multiply at the 35 to 37 degrees Celsius base on their incubation period. Step 5 Colony Examination. Overnight colonies grown after incubation are examined with the naked eyes to record. 1. Shape. 2. Edge. 3. Elevation. 4. Color. 5. Texture. Step 6 Gram staining is a common technique used to differentiate two large groups of bacteria based on the different cell wall constituents. The gram stain procedure distinguishes between gram positive and gram negative groups by coloring these cells red or violet. Example, 1. Gram positive, Staphylococcus aureus. 2. Gram negative, Escherichia coli. Step 7. Biochemical characterization. A few biochemical, physiological properties are used for the identification of bacteria. This include but is not limited to catalase, coagulase, indole, methyl red, Vogers proskauer and citrate utilization test. Step 8. Antibiotic sensitivity test. An antibiotic sensitivity test can help find out which antibiotic will be most effective in treating your infection. Assignment. Using urine as a sample, conduct MCS test. 